brand say about you? Can your brand command a high price? Or is your brand medium price or even lower tier? Maybe you do volume, voluminous sales of a low ticket item and that's what your brand supports. I want you to understand one thing. Your brand is going to command or respond to the demand in the marketplace. If your brand is not sufficient, if it is not strong enough to command or even accept a high value offer or a high ticket, what we call if it's not in the high ticket space, then you need to stay in your lane if that makes sense and work what's working water what's working for you in the season in the moment and grow your brand to where it can command a higher ticket don't try to jump to ten thousand dollars if your last offer was ten dollars it doesn't work that way you want to go from ten dollars to fifty from fifty to a hundred to two fifty and so on and so forth and move up incrementally as you gain in wisdom, experience, and skill set. Don't try to jump off, try to jump off the roof with a napkin for a parachute. And that's what happens. And that's why people have so low levels of confidence because they're impacted heavily when they try to enter a market where there's a lot of noise and a lot of experience with their inexperience and their high price. (laughs) They get a lot of no's and every time they knock on the door, it gets slammed in their face because their price doesn't match their experience. Remember this, when you go for a job interview, they say, salary commiserate with experience. So I want you to think of that word commiserate. What is your price commiserate with? What should your salary be based on your experience? If you've been doing something for one year, two years, you can command a certain price. If you've been doing something for one month or three months, that's a different price. And if you've been doing something for 10 years or 30 years, That's an entirely different price. There may be zeros on the back of that number that justify the price when you have the experience and the wisdom to figure out the solutions to what the client wants naturally because you've been doing it for a long time. So you really want to know where you're at. Keep your fingers on the pulse. Put a thermometer in your business. And really understand where your brand is best situated. Is it a beginner? Is it intermediate? Or is it well experienced and professional? There's different prices commiserate on experience.